The world is a wondrous and confusing place. The advancement of science and history and expansion of our knowledge of the Earth gives us a more comprehensive view of our world than ever before. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at mysterious discoveries. A mysterious giant blinking object has been detected near our galaxy's centre. Nothing is more mysterious and unreachable than space. Despite decades of intensive study and research, scientists have only explored about 4% of the visible universe. An estimated 25,000 light-years from Earth, astronomers have found a star that appeared to blink out of existence for several months before suddenly reappearing. This unique star was affectionately named BVV WIT08 and is thought to belong to a completely new class of stars altogether. This newly discovered star type is unexplainably enormous, reportedly 100 times the size of our Sun. While the blinking is thought to be caused by an unknown orbiting body that eclipses the star once every few decades. The name of the star appears to be a highly scientific smash-up of important letters. WIT actually stands for What is this? The case of VVV WIT08 has baffled astronomers. Not only is this star the first of its kind, but no one can explain what exactly could be eclipsing it from sight. The most prominent theory is that this orbiting object could be a planet or even another star, surrounded by a thick, opaque disk of dust locked in an orbit around VVV WIT08. This theory is supported by the discovery of a few other giant stars that disappear for months or even years at a time. The most famous example is Epsilon Aurigae, a supergiant star that is nearly eclipsed for up to 730 days at a time. And another giant star known as TYC 25056721 is regularly eclipsed for a whopping 3.5 years. There are certainly more to be found, but the challenge now is in figuring out what the hidden companions are and how they came to be surrounded by disks, despite orbiting so far from the giant star," said astronomer Lee Smith of the University of Cambridge. In doing so, we might learn something new about how these kinds of systems evolve. Betelgeuse's great dimming event was caused by a massive dust cloud. Betelgeuse is one of the brightest and arguably the best-known star in the sky. So when this famous star began dimming dramatically in the fall of 2019, it is no surprise the world held its breath. By February 2020, it had lost almost all of its normal luminosity, and in less than a year, one of the brightest stars known to man became a dimly lit remnant of its past self. Astronomers everywhere began clamouring for the answers, and now it seems they may have solved the mystery. Betelgeuse, which constitutes the shoulder of the famous constellation Orion, is commonly described as a bloated red supergiant. It is speculated that this massive star will die in an exhibitionist-style supernova explosion sometime soon. When the supergiant began to dim, many believed that this was the beginning of the end for the star. The site was named the Great Dimming, and astronomers prepared for the supernova they thought was soon to follow. It was a welcomed shock to all space lovers alike when Betelgeuse bounced back later that year. The star was shining at its historical brightness by April 2020, and astronomers again were left with nothing but questions. World-renowned astrophysicists at the Paris Observatory and University PSL studied Betelgeuse before and during the Great Dimming, using multiple instruments installed at the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope in Chile. Led by Miguel Montage, a team of highly knowledgeable scientists crafted datasets suggesting a likely answer as to what caused the Great Dimming. The research found that Betelgeuse had ejected a huge cloud of gas just a short period before the dawn of the Great Dimming. Then, in the fall of 2019, convective cooling in the star's atmosphere, along with the star's regular pulsations, dropped the temperature in the cloud's surroundings, causing the surrounding gas to condense into dust. This dust is theorized to have blocked the light of Betelgeuse to be seen from Earth. 
Our results confirm that the Great Dimming is not an indication of Betelgeuse's imminent explosion as a supernova. Montage and his team wrote in their finalized study, This unprecedented discovery has opened the door to uncover some of space's most securely kept secrets. Any time a mystery is solved, all new questions suddenly come to fruition. This exquisitely detailed study of Betelgeuse's unexpected behavior lays the groundwork for unraveling the properties of an entire population of stars, wrote astronomer Levesque. Next-generation facilities focused on monitoring stellar brightness over time or on studying the signatures of dust in the infrared spectra of stars could prove invaluable for expanding the lessons learned here. What happens to our consciousness when we sleep? The human body continues to amaze and perplex us all. It is essentially a machine that works 24-7 only to slightly power down during sleep. While our muscles rest, our essential organs continue without pause. The most pressing question for scientists that study sleep is this. What happens to our minds while we sleep? Thousands of highly trained specialists have tried to answer this question, and it seems that they are inching closer to the answer. A new theory has been formed as to where our brains go when we fall asleep. According to recent studies, a super network in the center of the brain is the missing piece to this puzzle. Researchers in Finland have discovered a central core network brimming with the same activity regardless of whether a person goes to sleep normally or loses consciousness due to anesthesia. It seems that these natural mechanisms provide the powerhouse to human consciousness. Two groundbreaking experiments from the University of Turku have found new information on this phenomenon. These experiments have revealed the inner workings of the brain's central core network for the first time. They have done so by focusing on the connection of consciousness to how people respond when they are asleep. One of these experiments studied the brain activity of people who had been anesthetized while the other examined how brains respond to natural sleep. With the use of brain imaging and questioning the patient after waking up, scientists found something rather peculiar. The questions that these scientists asked consisted of how aware were you of your surroundings and what did you dream of? Researchers have found that natural sleep and experimental anesthesia are powerful research tools in the study of human consciousness. In the past, it has been assumed that a lack of meaningful response is proof of unconsciousness. However, discoveries have shown that being unresponsive does not necessarily mean that the patient is unconscious. The researchers have focused their efforts on networks in the brain that they believe are linked with human consciousness. They study these areas by measuring the brain activity of patients as they fall asleep and those who undergo anesthesia via a PET scan. PET scans involve an imaging test that allows doctors to see how your brain is functioning. Scientists have located specific regions in the brain that experienced less blood flow when one of the volunteers lost consciousness and more blood flow when they regained awareness. It has been found that general anesthesia closely resembles normal sleep in a way that has been previously disputed, says Harry Sheening. As a result of the minimal delay between the awakenings and the interviews, the current results add significantly to our understanding of the nature of the anesthetic state. Against a common belief, full loss of consciousness is not needed for successful general anesthesia, as it is sufficient to just disconnect the patient's experiences from what is going on in the operating room explains Annalotta Sheenin. But what do you make of these discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and please help this community grow by liking and subscribing to our channel. Thank you for watching.